Well, the American Queen is docked on the North Shore for this Monday afternoon. This boat is well worth going to see. It's the world's largest riverboat. The paddle wheeler has 222 state rooms. It can carry 436 guests and a crew of 160. It'll be here until its departure a little bit later on this evening. Clouds greeted the vessel to the North Shore today, but things are heating up. KDK First Alert Meteorologist Ron Smiley, who, by the way, in a previous life was in New Orleans and saw a lot of those ships. Yeah, boats, plenty, right. plenty of those along the Mississippi. No uh, I mean, it seems like I basically grew up along the Mississippi River. It's the there. Let's talk about your forecast and what's going on there. It is cloudy outside. Temperatures right about where I thought they'd be right now. Had us right at 80 degrees going into the afternoon. We are at 79 degrees. Winds coming in basically out of the south. A little bit of a westerly tilt coming in at 10 miles an hour. The big number A is the dew point. 71. Anything above 70. Speaking of New Orleans, that's New Orleans like tropical like like what you would expect heading down to Florida this time of the year. It is soupy to say the least when you're stepping out the door when it comes to just how thick that air is outside uh, because of that, because of the moisture content we have in the air and the fact we have a cold front that's close to us, we will have a chance again. We're under that excessive rain outlook for the day today. Some big rain totals will be possible. Now here's the thing. We're not expecting a lot in the way of coverage when it comes to our rain, but if you do see the rain out there, a downpour will be possible. You could be dealing with some flash flooding because of the moisture content. A lot of rain could come down in a very short amount of time. Now right now, uh, a couple of the showers are up in the uh, Lawrence County area, just moving into Lawrence County right along I 80 up in Mercer. These are all light showers at this point. We're not seeing any downpours at this time, but please be aware that could happen, especially as we start to see this cold front getting a little bit closer to us this afternoon. So there's those rain showers that we're seeing right now. Uh, we would watch that closely. We could see, especially on the back end of that, uh, some stronger uh, downpours developing. Not seeing anything right now. Model data really has struggled. Also, it does show a couple of downpours uh, developing after one o'clock this afternoon and our best chance for rain today. At least with data coming in looks to be all the way up until about five o'clock. After that, it looks like our rain chances are going to go down. I can't guarantee it, but at least data is showing that. Now, I'll say this. We're still going to see as we're heading into the overnight hours, the same setup that has us looking at rain right now will still be unstable. Cold front just off to our northwest, but at least data is hinting that we'll see mostly dry conditions for the evening hours. Better chance for rain, by the way, on Tuesday. That's where we could have some big uh, totals coming in when it comes to rain. Here's the good news. After Tuesday, we see the dew point really plummeting. It's going to feel fantastic for the late half of the week, but you can see a couple of those as I went back to Tuesday there. Uh, you can see a couple of those showers that's going to be developing uh, tomorrow in the afternoon. Temperatures highs today should be into the mid 80s. We hit 85 yesterday in Pittsburgh. I think we'll be right there again today. Here's how I think the rest of the day breaks down, including 85, 85 degrees. Your temperature right there at 5 o'clock. Here's your 7 day. 85 today, 84 on Tuesday. Both of these days, downpours possible, very humid weather. Things then change. Wednesday, Thursday, feeling great. Humidity levels down, still in the 80s for highs, and we're down to the 50s. It feels fantastic as we're heading into the weekend. And look at those highs, John. All of a sudden, we're in the mid-70s Friday and Saturday. All right, we'll take it. Look yeah. forward to the weekend. Thanks, Ron.